Hello, all greetings. This is Gilles Marcillon. I'm called to come and speak to you about, uh, briefly to you, about um, um, transdimensional psychology, the, the multidimensional nature of, uh, of being and things. Uh, here it is Mother's Day, so I want to wish a happy Mother's Day if it is, a, if it is such a thing um, uh, where you are. Um, for we all have a mother and we have to be grateful for the, our mother is uh, she's the one that brought us here and so so it is with great gratitude that uh, we, we thank them all and thank the great mother of the universe as well uh, I wanted to say that um, we don't need to be perfect to enjoy our life we have to be whole we have to feel the the, 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 the accept the sacred nature of ourselves with all our flaws all our different our weaknesses, our strengths, our weaknesses, our everything is, is part of the process, the sacred, the sacred life process. For the more we acknowledge that, the more we realize that, the, the easier life uh, becomes and the easier it is for us to, to, to accept our limitations and, 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 and little by little we are able to change them. For I, I, am, I, I always make uh, mistakes, sometimes I make even new mistakes, but I always seek to find the error within myself. That's the only way you can progress, is to, to, to seek to correct whatever uh, mistake you made. But do not focus on those. Never focus on, on, do not spend your time on making a list of all the things that are going wrong. Just spend your time in gratitude for all your blessings, all the things that you already have, all the things that, that you feel are coming to you. And the more you practice that, the state of gratitude, the, the state of well-being, the state of because uh, we, we have uh, we have uh, our senses, our body, all those things are just a gift, incredible gift that allow us to participate in this reality. Also, wanted to speak about the gap. The gap is uh, that which separates us from our desires, separates us from uh, fr from from uh, from someone we love, or separates us from, from the eternal reality of our soul, separates us from from uh, anything that we desire for the time and space, the very nature of time and space in this dimension is separation, separated by time and space. And so, but those things are, are quite, um, as we move forward, we, we move into ascension, we move into fifth dimension or beyond, all those those, uh, those limitations dissolve naturally. It is not about going somewhere, it is about tuning into a frequency that is more subtle and then this, this great reality comes in for all of this depends on the will of God. There is no um, God is almighty, he's all powerful, he only has to think something for things to change. But if he maintains all those limitations within the, the, the human realm, it is because he cares for us and he wants us to grow, to learn and grow from our own experience, assuming the responsibility of our thoughts, our words and our actions. And so, um, as we move into these higher planes of reality, what, what we call fifth dimension or beyond, uh, all things are, are connected. We are connected to all beings and all things. And as we think something, it becomes. There is no need for gap and time delays for manifestation. Uh, for those who can accept this reality of multidimensional uh, matrix, uh, we can say that uh, we could say it in a way that uh, dimensions are stuck, uh, piled up on top of one another, and, and, and then we have to, to 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 move to the highest potential of what we seek. Uh, what I seek is to move uh, into the realm of infinity. For we live in a world that is the most finite, and but on the upper plane, the, the highest plane, the subtle realm, there is this realm of infinity. I am able through meditation to go and work in that plane, but I want to integrate it in a permanent way within my life, and that requires certain sacrifice. For, for sacrifice are like uh, giving up two spoons in order to get a great river. But it is not easy to decondition ourselves and to, uh, to move out of our comfort zone in order to experiment something new. We have to trust and have faith. For, for creating those bridges are very important. For, for my mission here is to, is to reconnect to my infinite nature, but also to, to, to create a bridge that, that, uh, between the sacred and, and, uh, and the profane. For all of life is sacred. It is just with, it is because of that uh, lack of understanding that we... we, we, we um, we get lost within the maze of the mind and people do all kinds of things that uh, um, because of lack of lucidity they, they, they are able they, they, they go into all kinds of ways but um, 
but in a sense uh, all of it is, is sacred we have to honor uh, this uh, this life process the more we are able to honor this life process turn our soul to God be grateful for our existence the easier it is for that energy to anchor within ourselves for our spirituality and divinity to unfold within for this great river of life is a great flow it's called uh, in the east it's called the Anta Corona it is something we separated ourselves when we moved into this time and space matrix but we want to reconnect to that river this river has no beginning has no end it is an eternal flow it encompasses all things all things are part of that river and as we, we allow ourselves to move beyond the mental the lower mental mind we are it is easier for us to flow with whatever life brings to us within gratitude and acceptance I also wanted to speak in, in, in esoteric uh, science, uh, Buddhist sciences, they, they speak of three energies that we have for, for this, uh, this energy that is our totality has no limit, it is infinite, but as human beings we are only given a certain amount of energy and those three energies are the, the seminal essence, uh, the energy of seminal essence, the energy of vital flow and the spiritual uh, energy. In essence, we do, the seminal energy is the, the a power of will and sexuality. We do not want to waste it. It is important to be able to enjoy that, but uh, in, when uh, but following the heart and for but but not to to um, to over uh, expand our, 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 our seminal essence energy. Otherwise, we will we won't have the strength. So it is where the strengths come from. Uh, same thing with our vital energy. It is. Um, if we speak always to say nothing, we we, gasp, we, we waste a lot of, of our vital flow energy and then if we worry a lot, we, we dissipate our spiritual energy. So we want to concentrate those three energy so it can raise up and, and, and then we, we, can, um, we can start to, to discover certain um, uh, um, amazing uh, potential that we have within ourselves, within the human body. I uh, also wanted to say that it's very important to, to keep your thoughts positive to, to, because we always trigger as soon as you turn on the TV you'll be bombarded with violence, war and all those things those things will continue as long as they're mediatic bestsellers as soon as you turn off the TV everything stops so, so, uh, and so this will end but for now when, when you are exposed to those uh, great uh, discordance, chaos and illusion and, and, and even um, the very dark things it's good to send positive love and light to the whole situation without exception and so you can help it pacify it you can help bring light and clarity into into those things without being involved or emotionally attached to those things uh, so keep your thoughts good send good thoughts into the world send good thoughts to people to the animal kingdom to nature to send good thoughts into the river good thoughts into the ocean good thought to keep your thoughts positive that's really really helping the whole planet in a and it protects you in, in, in that sense also because you, you then you, if you can replace all those because uh, we sometimes we do have negative thoughts but we have to be able to spot them and, and to, 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 to pray, to ask, to transmute it so that we, as if we can spot it, we, we don't uh, give it power so we, we, we are able to, to, to filter those things and, and to allow them to, to, be less, uh, to be less and less coming into our mind. So it is important to focus on goodness, to, to work on our uh, benevolence uh, and try to be good to our life for that, that is really the essence of, of the great teachings of all the great masters for, for goodness is, uh, is essential to, to all, uh, for we, we, we have been taught that uh, something else, but uh, I assure you this is, it's, uh, um, truth, beauty and goodness are really what, what we seek to discover and as we discover that we are uh, naturally elevated into a more um, comfortable position within our life. Finally, I wanted to, to speak about silence. Silence is the great teacher. It is a wonderful, it is infinite. It is, it is, we have to learn to listen into the silence. There is a uh, very silent voice within the silence. We have to come down to, to, to silence our mind as much as possible, to listen to the silence. And to um, and, and of course there is a great purification process that is also happening to our body that will ha help us assist in, in stabilizing our emotional body so it can move into a state of joy, state of compassion, state of, uh, of goodness. Uh, but, but silence is very, very important. Uh, there is a very powerful sound that you can repeat to yourself, to center yourself, to clear yourself, to, 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 um, to elevate yourself. This sound is home. home. Um, 
It is an eternal sound that is primal. It is a zero point. It, it holds everything together. Everything in the universe is held by that sound, and so it is a very primal, pr very important. <coughs> I did this painting about it. It is, it is represented by this symbol here. And it is a great explosion of dimension within that painting. I really, to me, it's a, it's a, there is a great stillness within the home, but uh, and then there is the great expansion of the universe uh, outside of that. And so yet there is there is a great activity, a great expansion. Yet there is a, the serenity within the center, and from there it. And no matter what happened with outside of you, once you find that that uh, inner inner center of peace and and, uh, and serenity, uh, um, you will be able to affect positively all the situation, no matter what happens outside of you. I also wanted to say that to to state a, a statement of the uh, of a great master, an ascended master, who was named Babaji. His name Babaji. Uh, what he said is that uh, do only speaks if what you have to say will improve the silence. It is, uh, it is very difficult because silence is, uh, is so powerful, but, but I thought it was, uh, was worth uh, mentioning. And uh, I will finish by a song uh, that is called The Sound of Silence. Beautiful song. I like it. It goes like this. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Cause a vision softly creeping Left its seed while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains Within the sound of silence in restless dreams I walk alone Narrow streets of copper stone Need the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light That split the night And touched the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing without listening people writing songs that voices never share and no one dare disturb the sound of silence. Fool said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. But my words like silence raindrop fell And echoed in the wells of silence And the people bowed and prayed To the neon god they made And the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was for me And the signs say the words of the prophets Are written on a subway walls And tenant halls And whispered in the sound of silence well, thank you very much. I hope this message was interesting for you. I wanted to thank all my uh, new subscribers, the old ones as well. It's nice to see this uh, channel is growing. I wish you a wonderful day. I send my blessings and uh, I'll talk to you later. Namaste.